Hi YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark. I don't even know if you can hear that well. Yeah, you can hear. It comes out fine on the video. Let's wait till the traffic. Passes. Definitely. Hi, this is Jack Dresser. And he is... Yeah, well, we are here at uh, OSU, Oregon State University, where uh, they have the only nuclear reactor in the state of Oregon. It's a uh, big Trojan reactor. The reason they have a nuclear reactor here is because they have a uh, Department of Nuclear Engineering. This is the only place in Oregon that actually trains people who work in the nuclear industry. And uh, of course, we're uh, absolutely and inutterably opposed to the entire nuclear energy industry. We don't, we don't need that, as my sign here says. Uh, the only place nuclear energy is safe for human beings is on the sun. And even at an average distance of 93 million miles, it still causes skin cancer. So there are many, many uh, alternative, safe, clean uh, energy technologies available that we should be investing in. You know, uh, after the Manhattan Project was completed in 1945, they actually created the U.S. Department of Energy to find uh, civilian uses for nuclear energy. And to this day, the Department of Energy still considers itself the Department of Nuclear Energy. They invest almost no money whatsoever in anything else. If you look at the uh, U.S. Department of Energy budget in any, any given year, you'll see there's all, maybe 10 or 12 uh, budget items all devoted to something nuclear. It's the storage of uh, nuclear waste. It's the protection of, of uh, nuclear materials, it's various uh, uh, both military and civilian applications, and by comparison it's a tiny, tiny fraction of the budget that you'll see uh, devoted to wind or solar or geothermal <coughs> or wave or tidal energy, all the things that are <coughs> continuous, abundant, inexhaustible sources of energy on this planet that we could be tapping into. And uh, there, there's a, another disturbing dimension to this. Um, there have been over 5,000 patents uh, for various forms of uh, energy production, which would uh, provide for distributed energy. 5,000 forms of what? Patents. 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 Oh, for, wow. For various uh, alternative energy uh, technologies that have been suppressed. Wow. By U.S. government agencies. And In lieu of nuclear. <coughs> yeah, well, it's like they want all the energy coming from uh, single sources. Hmm. Even the energy that we use for electricity, they want it all coming from central power companies uh, instead of being more uh, evenly distributed throughout the population. For example, individual homes or small communities or neighborhoods and so forth. So it's, it's rather sinister. Uh, if, if the government has control of, of all our energy resources, and now they are looking at installing smart meters across the country and across the world, which are all tied into smart grids, which are in turn linked through the Internet, which makes them all completely vulnerable, makes the grids completely vulnerable. So Jack, I'd like to ask you a question on camera so you can get this one in. When did our government, when did the government, actually, when did the energy companies start giving orders to our government? Like the nuclear, we can't say no to nuclear, we can't say no to oil. Like, when did that start? Why did, does our government consider it its interest to go over and protect the oil interests of other companies or the interests of nuclear? If you watch what the NRC says, they're not a watchdog. They are proponents of nuclear industry. The IAEA, they are proponents of it, but the NRC is supposed to regulate them, right? But they basically promote nuclear energy. So well, how did IAEA, that, when did IAEA, that become? Well, the IAEA is a UN agency. Right. Yeah. <coughs> I know of that Vienna. history. I understand that, that right after the war, they basically got, they lobbied and got complete control over everything in the UN. But how is it that the United States government, the military, got taken over by these... And it's not the government, it's these private industries that the government is kneeling to. Yeah, well, the answer to. to that is very simple. It has to do with our political system. Uh, 
people get elected to office through uh, money, and money is provided in massive amounts to these to these uh, the candidates that support. Are you telling me it's only money? money? It's only money. The new because the nuclear industry has money. It's our money. It's our tax dollars that are funding the nuclear industry. It's not our tax dollars that pay for the political campaigns. It's their tax dollars that pay for the community. Uh, right. Campaigns. For example. But it's our tax dollars that make them rich. It's a cash cow because our government subsidizes it, which is our tax dollars. So it's their after tax dollars, but it's our money originally. Our government subsidizes it. It's just basically our political system is basically a system of extortion. <laughs> yeah, ding, 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 ding. Okay. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> let's just talk on it for here. I'm especially aware of this because, as you know, that, uh, <laughs> you know, I work very uh, actively on the Israel-Palestine oh, issue. Yes. And and APAC, which is the principal Israel lobby that funnels money into political campaigns, has absolute control over the Congress. Anyone in, in public office. True. That's actually true. You cannot get out of line on that and one. Anyone in public office. Who true. Speaks out against Israel and tells the truth about Israel. Right. Is targeted for elimination right. in their next campaign. Right. And massive amounts of money. Will and it be happens poured, every time, time after time. Will be poured into the opponent's right. campaign. Right. And I'm sure it works that way with these other massive nuclear, too. the I mean, whole have, nuclear thing. They have absolutely colossal wealth. Well, look at Barack Obama. He's owned by the nuclear industry. Well, he, well, you can say he's owned by all of them. I mean, for example, uh, uh, he had to pledge allegiance to APAC. Right. He well, he's off. forcing. He's doing the secret deals on the TPP. Yes. For God's sakes, the TPP is going to destroy what little left we have of our rights. Really, yeah, it's going to undermine our rights. Well, and there's an Atlantic partnership uh, waiting in the wings too. Right. To go. And Sig uh, this, Heil. This, this At what point do we have to start saying Sig Heil? Well, aren't you doing that already? No. <laughs> well. <clears throat> Well, maybe I am in some why, ways. Why are there so few of us involved in this? Why, where, where is everybody else? I told you, don't you see my imaginary, all those people back all the way back there demanding an end to nuclear power? They're there, Jack. We just don't see them. Yeah. They're afraid to come out. We just have to allow them to come just out. Just like, like uh, Palestinians and the, who live in the United States are afraid to speak. We're up. standing to stop nuclear power. Awesome. We want to call call your congressmen, call your senators. You know, it matters you know, if you contact them and say we want to shut down all nuclear power plants. You know, OSU has the only nuclear reactor in the state of Oregon. Really? Yeah. Yes, and it is. Because there is a. Uh, are you a student here? Yeah. Um, I think I've heard they had a many reactors. They do. So they have a uh, they have a nuclear engineering. Program. So this is the only place in the state of Oregon that actually trains people to that's work right. in the nuclear industry. Yeah, that's terrible. And so, yes. uh, get the word out. Get, maybe get a... Uh, well, you can go to the post Dictionary Project, you know, the Facebook page in Adopt.com, and find out a lot of information about the reality of Fukushima and Chernobyl. And especially here in Oregon, you're young, you are seriously being radiated. And within the next three or four years, it's only going to double up because they're not stopping it. You Which know, is Hanford, why we're out. Like, we're being lied to. And you know, the reactor up in Hanford is the last uh, big nuclear reactor in the class. And you mean the uh, Columbia Generating Columbia Station? Generating Do you know that it is only 15 miles away from those contaminated sources of fuel that they're trying to figure out what to do with. It's only 15 miles away, which means if there was a meltdown at that generating station, nobody could maintain those spent fuel pools. And it's also right near a major fault line. Right. There's a major earthquake fault. What's your question? Trying to ask for any change you need to help with it all. Sure, let me give you some cash. Hold on.